Next, it is my honor to introduce Christoph Giuseppe, Chief Development Officer and co-founder of Nori. Nori is a leader in the carbon marketplace and we're partnering with them on this symposium. Please welcome Christoph. Hi, I'm Christoph Jospe and I'm one of the co-founders of Nori. Nori is a Seattle-based startup on a mission to help accelerate removing carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. This video is specifically for farmers who are interested in learning more about the program, as well as soil health enthusiasts who are curious about learning more and what is Nori and what's the pilot all about? Nori is a new carbon market that issues Nori Carbon Removal Tons, or NRTs, to those who can remove and retain carbon. Upon verification in the Nori program, you get a unique sellable digital asset. The way it works at a really high level is that the supplier takes an action that pulls carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Through Nori, they submit a carbon removal claim. When they have a positive verification report back, they can sign a 10 year contract to enroll into the Nori marketplace. Every time you sign the contract, we issue NRTs. We're different from other markets in the sense that we're only focused on carbon removal, not carbon avoidance or certain types of carbon offsets. We pride ourselves on having true CO2 removal and retention price discovery, which means that people can always see what, are the, what is the price that the NRT is selling for in the Nori marketplace. We're a software company that's committed to transparency and open source technologies who primarily depend on transactions for revenues. Unlike other carbon markets where carbon credits can sit for a really long time and they can just make money on listing fees, Nori only makes money if you get paid. Through our marketplace, it's impossible for double crediting or double claiming as exists in other markets. So our first methodology is in U.S. croplands, specifically to help U.S. farmers be incentivized to adopt new practices to retain, remove and retain carbon. We have a pilot underway. Right now we're looking for farmers, hopefully the same one, but they can add up to farming at least a thousand acres and enroll as one project, who since 2010 have adopted on-farm agronomic practices defined by the NRCS as conservation soil health management practices and have consistent records that can show when they made the transition to this practice and what they were doing before. You need a willingness to sign a 10 year contract that you'll continue to make best effort to retain the carbon you've already removed and hopefully even adopt more practices that will store even more carbon. And when you go through verification, we're looking for proof that you have the right to list the project, that you're not gonna sell it in any other markets, and the data you're submitting will be randomly sampled to make sure that what you're submitting is reasonable and accurate. Nori has quite a few different folks who we work with. I talked about the suppliers, but quantifiers is just as important. Nori is elected to work first with Comet Farm, hosted by a team at Soil Metrics, Comet stands for the Carbon Management Estimation Tool and is able to link back soil organic carbon stock changes to the adoption of NRCS practices and produces a dynamic baseline that we're able to use in our issuance of the credits. As you can see in the top of this slide, there are other participants like verifiers who I already mentioned and buyers who pay for the NRT. It was important for Nori to work with Comet Farm because it's our way to say, these are USDA approved inventory numbers. And so it's not Nori who is doing the base calculation and it's a standardized streamlined approach. Here's an example of what a reward might look like for a farmer who in 2014 adopted no-till and cover crops. In teal, you can see the old practices and in yellow, you can see the outcome of soil organic carbon from the new practices. Here's an example of a hypothetical continuance of the old versus new practices. And the difference between the two is what Nori ultimately issues as the asset that trades. So once you're in the pilot, what does it look like? Well, 
you're submitting field boundaries with corresponding management data. And when we have that data, you can run a model to get an estimate of what you stand to gain and then go on to get verified. Find out more at nori.com. Great, thank you so much, Christoph. Cultivate Oregon is honored to work with you and Nori on this event, and we're so excited to move forward together. I wanna take a moment to thank you all so much, all of you who have already donated, because along with your support from our sponsors and community partners, thank you for making this symposium possible. We are excited to share about two new programs Cultivate Oregon is launching to encourage participation in regenerative agriculture. I am going to serve as a liaison with Nori as a data manager to further Cultivate Oregon's goal to help Oregon farmers, ranchers, and land managers enter the carbon marketplace. This collaboration between Nori and Cultivate Oregon means that we can launch a carbon sequestration recognition and incentive pilot program. We have about 300 people registered today for this event, which shows the desire and interest for these programs and for regenerative agriculture. For more details and to donate to these new programs, please click the link that's in the chat. This soil symposium is free and we ask that you offer support towards this historic program. If you haven't already, please support our carbon sequestration recognition and incentive pilot program.